a troubled woman finally meets her long-lost half-brother. However, the siblings' shared fear of abandonment leads them to indulge in strange temptations. Seeing her bored during her session, her therapist tells Charlotte that she can leave if she wants to. The woman finds it amusing that she sounds like her mother, who also insisted on going to therapy even though she hated it leaving her with her drunk father. The therapist wonders if Charlotte is now punishing her mother, and the woman admits this. She doesn't intend to patch things up with her, though she does want to find a connection with someone. The therapist then instructs her to close her eyes and imagine what her mother felt when she was born. Charlotte does this and she suddenly feels sad. However, she shakes her head and insists that she can't imagine anything. After the session, Charlotte goes to work as a dance instructor for kids. One night, she attends the wedding of her best friend Marta and her new husband Marco. Charlotte makes a speech during the reception, thanking Marta for being part of her life and for welcoming her into their family. This is actually how Charlotte met her boyfriend Dag, who's also Marta's brother. She highlights how Marta inspired her and felt jealous and she wanted to have a family like hers. With that in mind, she also welcomes Marco into her and Marta's family. Later at the party, Marco gives Marta an elegant necklace that's been passed down to his family. Seeing this makes Charlotte happy for her friend while she hides her jealousy. Afterward, the two friends get drunk outside the venue. Marco and Dag find them, and Marta complains about seeing her brother kiss her best friend. Charlotte teases that she also has a brother for her friend, but Marta reminds her that she's never met her half-sibling. As the party continues, Charlotte looks around the gift table and takes the necklace Marco gave his new bride before joining the dance floor. Later, Dag spends the night at his girlfriend's house who asks him to stay. He admits that he also wants to stay, though they know that can't happen. The following day, Charlotte sees Dag off as he begins his tour as a football player, putting distance between them. Her next few days continue as usual until a man named Henrik visits the studio, claiming to be curious to see where she works. This scares Charlotte, so the man asserts that she and her mother should leave him alone. After he storms off, Marta arrives asking who he is. Charlotte reveals that he's her brother before she heads out to chase after him. However, when she exits the building, Henrik is already gone. Charlotte later shows family photos to Marte, admitting that she found her brother in the city. Seeing that she doesn't want to discuss it, Marte changes the topic and complains about their dancing attire. She jokes that they're making her infertile when she wants to have kids. That afternoon, Charlotte goes to the hospital to visit her ailing father. Her mother Anna is also there and announces that she passed her exam, where she wrote about a show depicting a successful career man while his wife is left with their children. Anna jokes about how this was perceived as an ideal married life. After her mother leaves, Charlotte heads out to get coffee from the vending machine, only to return to the room and find that her father Eric is struggling to breathe. He asks for her mother, but when his daughter reveals that Anna left, he sobs. Seeing him this way makes Charlotte cry, sympathizing with the man's loneliness. Soon, Eric falls back to sleep, but his daughter can't help but mull over her own isolated life. Desperate to connect with someone, she visits Elin, who's apparently Henrik's wife. Henrik isn't happy to see Charlotte, but Elin, who already knows who she is, invites her inside. Charlotte uses the time to get to know her half-brother's family and tell them about Anna, the parent she shares with Henrik. Elin shows more interest in learning about her husband's family than the man does, though he still joins them as Charlotte talks about how Anna is working on her master's degree in literature. When the air grows silent, the woman wonders when Anna separated from Henrik's father. She assures him that their mother mourned that she didn't get custody of him, but Henrik doubts this. Elin explains that as far as Henrik knows, Anna abandoned him. This makes things awkward between them, so her sister-in-law assures Charlotte that it's not her fault that her mother lied to her. Henrik then excuses himself to return to work, but Elin encourages him to take his sister and hang out with her for drinks afterward. Because of this, Charlotte waits in the lobby while Henrik attends his late meeting. However, after he's done, he excuses that he still has much to do, so he can't go out for drinks with her. He promises to do it at another time, but the clear disappointment on her face makes him feel guilty. Ultimately, Henrik takes Charlotte to a bar where they quietly drink. They overhear a group of co-workers planning to have drinks to celebrate, so to liven up the night, Henrik suggests joining them. The two pretend to be tourists as they join the group in their small office party. However, it also gets boring, so Henrik instructs his sister to pretend to drunkenly slam her head on the table so they can leave. 
Though confused, Charlotte does this, and the other's concerns allow them to leave without an explanation. The strange situation has the siblings laughing, finally shedding the awkwardness between them. They head to a different bar to continue drinking and get to know each other. Since he's never met her father, Charlotte takes Henry to the hospital to meet Eric. The ailing man is asleep when they arrive, and seeing the man his mother left him for hurts Henry. Despite this, the siblings have a good time bonding over a midnight snack later at Henrique's home. This, however, becomes something more when the man wipes his sister's lips, putting an idea in both their minds. The moment is interrupted when Henrique's son wakes up and calls him. Seeing him tend to his son, Charlotte reminds herself how wrong the thoughts in her head were. The following day goes normal for Charlotte, but she's surprised when Henrique visits her apartment at night. Without exchanging words, he kisses her then pulls back, realizing what he just done. However, the woman also feels the connection she's been longing for with him, so Charlotte kisses him as well. With this, the two give in to their desires. After the act, Charlotte carries on through the next day as if nothing happened. While in the hospital, Anna mentions that the nurses told her she visited her father with someone the other night. The woman admits she was with Henrique, and hearing his name makes Anna silent. The mother warns Charlotte not to mess with someone else's business, then asks if Eric knows. Instead of answering, the woman wonders if her mother even wanted to have her. Given that she abandoned Henrik years before, Anna calls her daughter mean before storming off. On another day, the siblings have lunch together in a distant restaurant. This allows Charlotte to pretend that they're a newlywed couple, which Henrik plays along with. While she gets makeup from her purse, Henrik notices the necklace she stole from Marta's wedding. Even though she admits to the theft, Henrik continues their act and pretends that it's his gift to her. This encourages Charlotte Charlotte to wear it. The two spend the entire day together and even check into a hotel with a pool. They play around in the water, where Henrik shares that he actually found her and their mother when he was younger. He admits that he was jealous of her that day before leaning in to kiss the woman. They then share the bed in their hotel room that evening, further committing to their unusual relationship. After this trip, Charlotte returns to work the next day and showers in the dance studio. Marta joins her in their dressing room, noticing how happy her friend is. Charlotte admits that she feels like things are finally falling into place, and Marta is glad to see her this way. Her mood changes when she receives a panicked voicemail from her mother after work. Charlotte rushes to the hospital and learns that her father has passed away. Anna is inconsolable from his death, while the daughter remains stoic, unable to understand how she feels about losing her alcoholic father. Seeking comfort, she visits Henrik in his office while he's working late. She shares that Eric is dead so her brother comforts her as she finally lets out her tears. The next morning, Anna and Marte visit Charlotte's apartment to check in on her and plan for Eric's funeral. Her friend mentions that Dag intends to cancel the rest of his tour to be with his girlfriend, but Charlotte thinks there's no point in doing so. While her mother plans for the funeral, Charlotte reveals that her half-brother is there too. She urges Anna to see him, but the woman packs up and leaves instead. Due to the awkwardness, Marte decides to leave as well so Charlotte promises to call her to explain later. Eventually, they hold Eric's wake, where Anna devotes a song to her late husband. When an overwhelmed Charlotte hides in the bathroom, Marta joins her and finally asks her about her brother. The woman tries to dodge the topic, though this leads to Marta noticing her missing necklace on her friend. Fearing that this will end her only friendship, Charlotte breaks down, so Marta embraces her, assuring her that she forgives her. Once she calms down, however, Marta takes her necklace back and leaves. Alone again, the troubled woman heads to Henrik's home later, only to hesitate upon seeing him with his family. She tries to move on from these heartbreaks and soon returns to work as she prepares her students for a recital. To her surprise, Anna visits after her class ends to ask Charlotte to help her meet Henrik. This angers Charlotte, offended at how Anna finally decides to be a mother when, throughout her life, the woman was barely there for her. Anna defends that she tried her best, but her daughter thinks it wasn't good enough. The mother breaks down in tears and recounts how she was young when she got married and had Henrik. She chose to leave him even though it hurt to start her life again, and having Charlotte made her think she was her new beginning. However, she still couldn't handle being a mother. Now, she begs Charlotte to let her meet her son to make up for the things she'd done. The woman takes her time to decide this and ultimately takes Henrik and his son to Anna. This allows Charlotte to feel like she finally has a normal family. The next day, she takes Henrik and her nephew to the studio to play around. 
To her surprise, Henrik uses this chance to tell her that he's leaving Elin. As they leave, Marta's mother passes by them and announces that her daughter is pregnant. This surprises Charlotte as her best friend hasn't been speaking to her. Henrik and his son spend the night at Charlotte's apartment later. Once his son is asleep, Henrik walks up to Charlotte, though she shies away from his touch. Despite her initial hesitation, however, the two still end up in bed together. On another night, Charlotte takes the courage to visit Marta who acts like everything is normal. She brings up Marta's pregnancy, wondering if that's really what her friend wants. This surprises the woman, so Charlotte jokes that she can't imagine her being a mother. Seeing that this offended her friend, Charlotte dismisses what she said and offers to be her child's godmother. Marta's silence shows that she dislikes the idea, so the woman excuses that she is acting strangely since she's been confused with her life. Marta snaps at her since Charlotte has always acted recklessly throughout the years, then claims that she just doesn't know what she wants as an excuse. She's tired of watching over the woman when Charlotte really isn't part of their family. This breaks Charlotte's heart, though she admits that she's been waiting for Marte to say this since she knew this was how she felt. One day, the woman is surprised to find Dag at her apartment with Henrik. She acts happy to see her boyfriend and the trio spend the night catching up over drinks. When Dag prepares to leave later, Charlotte discreetly explains that Henrik is living with her since he's going through his divorce. Dag buys this, saving the woman from revealing anything more. In contrast, Henrik is upset to learn that Charlotte hasn't broken off with her boyfriend yet. Because of this, he pushes her when she tries to hug him. They end up fighting until Charlotte calls Henrik insane, making him back off. The woman apologizes for her words, yet the man hits her in anger. Afraid, Charlotte walks out and avoids the man when he tries to apologize. They get into a struggle in bed where Henrik overpowers and chokes her before releasing the woman. This encounter finally makes Charlotte acknowledge their toxic relationship. However, her fear of abandonment has her continuing to spend the night with Henrik. Driven by desperation, she asks Henrik never to leave her, but he takes this as his cue to head out, unwilling to fully commit to their strange relationship. Life continues as Charlotte's recital with her class happens the next day. Dancing with her students makes the woman feel alive, but this is broken when she watches the kids go to their parents afterward, seeing their proud and happy faces. As she prepares to leave work later, Dag visits her to spend time with her. However, she notices his lack of affection towards her, making her fear that he knows something. Dag later spends the night in her place, though Charlotte still misses Henrik. She checks if he messaged her in the middle of the night, and when she sees that he didn't, she goes to the bathroom. When she steps out, she finds Dag with her phone, having read her messages to her brother. He's disgusted to discover Charlotte's real relationship with Henrik. Unable to defend herself, the woman tries to steal her phone back, but Dag accidentally hits her. He apologizes and calmly asks for an explanation, but Charlotte doesn't know how to say it. Instead, she cries as she apologizes. Hurt, Dag leaves, ending another of the few relationships that the woman has. Having lost everyone she loved, Charlotte eventually moves away and starts taking classes to pursue a new career. She meets new friends and finds happiness in her new life. One day, she chances upon Marte with her infant son on the train. This reconnects the friends after months of being separated, though things remain awkward and unlike their previous closeness. Days later, Charlotte helps her mother pack as she is moving out to be with her new boyfriend. Losing her childhood home makes the woman reminisce about the simpler times. Charlotte becomes uneasy when her mother mentions that Henrik will pick up a box of old toys for his son. Despite this, she volunteers to wait for him to let Anna leave and prepare for her new life. Before parting ways, Charlotte expresses her love for her mother, which Anna reciprocates. Soon, Henrik arrives at the house and finds his sister alone there. With unresolved feelings between them, the two settle for a casual embrace, ignoring their troubled history to move on with their lives. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.